questions pertaining to Black Lives Matter and such, and this is what was said. What do you think is more common, racist white people or racist black people? Racist white people. This poll shows how much discrimination is there against African Americans. 40% of blacks says a lot. 42% says some. 16% of whites says a lot. 41 says some. Do you think racism exists? Yes. Which race do you think is affected more by police brutality? White or black? Black. Nevertheless, majorities across all remain favorable towards their local law enforcement. However, African American and Hispanic Americans are more likely than Caucasians to believe police abuse their authority and use force excessively. For instance, only 38% of white Americans believe excessive force in police departments is increasing, compared to 73% of African Americans and 67% among Hispanics. Only 34% of Caucasians believe the police use lethal force unnecessarily, compared to 82% of African Americans and 72% of Hispanics. Do you think white people and black people should be friends? Yeah. Why? Together. They should be together? Yeah. Why? Together. Most white people don't have so many black friends. In fact, the study revealed that some white people may not even have that one black friend. The one who would serve as their all-powerful amulet to defeat any accusations of racism. While the survey says the average white person has one black friend, the average black person has eight white friends, and that's more than enough to make me wonder. It's not that I don't think white people are unwilling to cultivate real friendship with black people, it's that I don't believe becoming close friends with black people occurs to them at all, unless it's Beyonce, because who doesn't want to be friends with Beyonce? What does it mean to be black? What does it mean to be black? Would you defend someone who is being racially profiled? Which race suffers more with racism, whites or black? Really? That's a real question? Black people, duh. Which race suffers more with racism, whites or black? Well, racism is a construct or a system developed by white people to oppress people of color and black people, so white people aren't affected by systematic racism. Like, again, you can be prejudiced towards anybody, but... But a white person isn't gonna lose any of their privileges or any of their opportunities for being white. A white person can be oppressed for different factors, like if they're, if they're gay or they're like non-binary, but not for being white solely. So, only people of color are truly impacted by racism. Yeah, multiple times in many different ways. I've been racially profiled, I've been turned down jobs, and I haven't even been considered because of just the way I look. That's about it. Which one do the police like? White people or black people? Um, black people and this white thing. The police fight the black people? Safe in your skin? Okay. Would you feel safe in your skin if you were a young black man? Probably not. Probably not the statistics and just watching so many of the people that I know what they have to go through every day, that terrifies me just to have to watch them go through that and I don't know what I would do if I knew for a fact that I would be faced with that sort of oppression every day. Which one is worse, racism or homophobia? That is such a loaded question because you're talking about something that has been systematically introduced to the country about 600 years ago and something that's been around in the entire world for thousands of years and one of the earliest forms of oppression in the entire world. Except that date back, one dating back to Christianity and one dating back to 500, 600 years ago. But it seems that we've been making more strides and progress with the with working against homophobia right now than we have been with working against racism. And there's so many different different movements going on in the country right now, but most of them, when you look at the two, uh, the ones that have to deal with LGBTQ rights have been making more progress than ones dealing with racism. Do you believe the justice system treats blacks and whites equally? No, I believe that whites get more they're more lenient on the case and uh, they hear them out more than they do for black people. Do you believe the justice system treats blacks and whites equally? Not at all. Um, systematic racism is really harmful and it doesn't affect white people, it affects people of color. 
you can be prejudiced towards anybody, but a black person being prejudiced doesn't like really oppress a white person. White people have way more opportunities than people of color in general, including black people. And um, even education systems are really unequal. Uh, capital punishment affects people of color disproportionately as well. There are 50% of people on the death penalty are black people, and I believe only less than 20% are black in prison, so that's definitely really disproportionate, and that says something about racism being existent and definitely targeting black people way more than white people. Define racism. Racism, from my definition, is when you are being judged or discriminated against based on your skin color or, yeah, basically, based on your skin color. Because um, I, I wouldn't say based on religion and things like that, because that's not racism, that's discrimination, so. Would you be friends with white people or black people? I would be friends with white people. Why? Yeah. I don't know. You like white people? I don't know. You don't like black people? Do you think the word nigger should be acceptable? I think the slick sweater form is even more damaging because that's literally the word white slave owners use to address their black slaves and it's completely dehumanizing so no, it definitely should not be said unless you're black. Do you think the word nigga should be acceptable? Well, it's a racial slur and I don't think non-black people should use it at all because it's not their word to reclaim and it's not their word to use as a form of camaraderie. So like, no, I don't think it should be acceptable in most cases. And if a black person tells you to stop using it, you should probably stop fucking using it. Only 6% of white people on this entire planet can admit to systematic racism being a serious issue. Only three out of 10 white American people can say that black Americans are treated differently by the police.